So the other day, I'm in CEX, I'm in the queue, I have a voucher and I'm about to buy something and I'm waiting and I notice the guy in front of me is selling some games. And when given the price between voucher and cash, he takes the cash. Lots of things go through my mind when that happens. I'm thinking, well, I would have given you that. I would maybe have given you a little bit more. I wouldn't make you sign anything or fill out any forms. I'm also then thinking, what sort of situation is this person in? Why do they need the cash? Why are they not taking the voucher, buying some things for themselves or taking the voucher, picking up some things that they can sell on to get even more money? This guy was selling Switch games. He had around six to eight games, I couldn't quite see them, but I do remember a little conversation between him and the member of staff. Uh, he said, oh, you've got two of the same game, and I didn't hear the rest of it, but it was Pokemon Scarlet, and then there were a few other Mario games in there, maybe a Yoshi or something or other, I couldn't quite see properly. But it did make me think, why is this person taking the cash over taking the credit? Now, before we go any further, obviously, I don't know anyone's financial situation. Maybe this guy had a council tax bill he absolutely needed to pay right there and then that day. And obviously, if that's the only way he can make cash, he doesn't have anything in the bank, he doesn't have a job, for example, it makes perfect sense. I'm not knocking anyone who ever wants to take the cash in CEX or if you want to sell your entire game collection for three quid and you're happy to do that, that is absolutely fine. But for me personally, I was stood there and I was... A mix of emotions. I didn't know what to think. First off, I was thinking, well, I would have given you a hundred quid for all those games, no problem. I would have just given you the cash, you could have given me the games, you wouldn't have had to sign anything, and off you go. And that made me think, how often do people take the cash? I think I've taken cash once in my life. I think it was around, I don't know, 2006 maybe? Uh, I was in a Cardiff CEX which no longer exists. I had a network adapter and a couple of other games I gave in for cash because I absolutely needed it there and then. I think I had a phone bill I needed to pay or something. I didn't want to get cut off. Didn't have a job at the time, so I just traded some stuff in. It was so long ago, in fact, that this network adapter, I think I remember getting £45 in cash. Compare that to today's prices, and yeah, that's how long ago it was. When I got home, I couldn't quite shake the idea of why anyone would take cash and then how often it happens. And then I remembered, I watched someone on YouTube called The Gentleman of Game. Now he may go through his subscribers and wonder why I'm not subscribed to him. I am. I just use an alt account. I don't know why I do it. I use a completely separate account to subscribe to people and watch content on. And I've watched his series, which is very similar to mine, where he runs a free uh, game collection. But he uses the cash system in CEX almost religiously. He'll go to somewhere like Cash Converters, for example, pick up a load of games for 99 pence, and then take them to CEX. And then when he comes back and he explains what he's done, He's taken 90% of it in cash to get the money back into the series very, very quickly. He uses it consistently and you can see how it works, but I can't do that. And then I'm thinking, well, if he does it, surely other people do it. I know I'm going to use the YouTube community posts. and I'm going to ask, how often do you take the cash in CEX? Because to be honest, I don't expect anyone to say, yeah, I'll take cash quite regularly. So I gave three options. Never, sometimes, and regularly. This poll has been live for around 10 hours or so at this point. It received 427 votes. The results were quite surprising. So never was 57%. Now I expected that to be the highest percentage, but I didn't think it would be as low as it is. Sometimes was 24%, which was actually fairly accurate to what I thought it would be, but regularly was 19%, and that surprise me. So almost as a follow-up to that poll, if you voted or not, you can now let me know in more words in the comments. So if you voted and you said no, never, tell me why you never do. Or maybe you voted regularly. Those are the people I kind of want to hear from, to be fair. Why do you regularly take the cash? Maybe you take a little bit of both. I'd love to hear the reasoning behind it. Now the thing with cash in CEX is it does eliminate an awful lot of the nonsense that you get on things like eBay and Vinted. Because if you sell things on eBay, I wouldn't even say regularly, but every now and again, you'll know that that comes with its own set of problems. Things can go missing in the post, buyers can not pay for things, they can want to return them even though there's nothing wrong with them. So taking things into CEX does make a lot of sense in that sense because it's simple. You take it in, they say, yes, we'll take it, here's the amount, do you want it? And it's done. So I got a vote in this poll, I voted never. You could argue that I should have said sometimes because I have taken cash once upon a time, but I would never do it again unless I was absolutely desperate. So until I start doing it every now and then, 
I'm always going to be on the side of never. And I could never understand why anyone would ever do it. Until I have a, a harrowing experience that puts me off eBay for life, I will always look to try and get as much money as possible for my things. If I know I can put it on eBay and get an extra five, ten pound than what CEX are offering me, I'm going to do that because I'm cheap. But on the other hand, now my eyes have been opened to the possibilities of using the CEX cash system and something that I may look at doing in the future. Maybe we do an experiment with it. Maybe, I don't know, run a little series on trying to do it the, the Gentleman of Games way that I'll, I'll call it, for example. If you want to check out the Gentleman of Games, you can click the link in the description. If you want to check out another video from me, you can click here. And until the next time, goodbye.